Hey guys, today I'm going to mount the Phalaenopsis orchid or moth orchid. So this guy I've uh, I bought it from IKEA maybe two to three years ago, and I repotted it into this bigger pot, and it's growing like crazy. And I bought this um, cork piece of wood board from Amazon and it, it looks pretty nice very decent size and yeah look at this the lichens on the wood, wood it's a pretty nice detail and the other side look like this And I'm gonna heat the cork up to 375 to kind of um, sterilize, heat, uh, dry heat sterilize it. And um, I'm having a little trouble removing the orchid from the pot. Um, it's sticking onto the to the pot, and you can see. This root structure is pretty extensive. So I finally remove it from the pot. And as you can see, this roots have a flat side. And that's the side where it was adhering to the pot. And this as well. And yeah, just gonna give you some close up. And you can see the original um, moss that's, that is holding onto the orchid. And you can see some roots still sticking on the pot, um, which it's now broken up from the main plant. It's pretty crunchy. I'll try to focus onto the whole plant. There you go. And I'm just gonna give you kind of like a scale. This is in centimeters. And here I found this longest root. Probably like 40 something centimeter. Uh, just gonna give you kind of like a detail of this super long root. You can see this side, it's waxier and greener starting from this point and um, it's it is when the roots emerge from the moss so it's there's a coloration as you can see a darker color f at the top of the roots and i think that it's because it's exposed to light versus the one uh, at the tips or the bottom it's wider because it's not exposed to light oh and I broke this part the orchid roots are super fragile so if you work with it you have to be very careful And as you can see, the root is like growing out from the stem. And now I'm gonna put some wet moss into this plastic bag as a way for, um, for it to maintain some moisture when I mount it. And I'm gonna poke some holes so the moisture can get in and out of the bag which will look like this right now 
and just kind of see where you want to position the the orchid on the board I decided to go um, vertical at first but in the end I went with the horizontal um, position so I'm gonna place the plastic bag there and then put the um, orchid on top also I'm gonna um, punch some holes through the cork and then use the um, wire to anchor the um, orchid and the um, plastic bag so yeah this is what it will look like it's a loop and I can just tighten the the other side to anchor the um, the orchid and the moss onto the board so yeah this is gonna be um, what it looks will look like on the inside and I'm gonna place some moss over this whole thing and I'll also nail on a piece of cloth to hold the moth uh, I mean moss together like that and it's a it's a piece of uh, cotton fabric so it's um, arable and so yeah I'm gonna just water it make sure it's good and moist it's gonna get a little shock from this transplants for sure from all the handling there must be a lot of broken roots and um, one day later I want to make it look prettier because the white cloth is kind of um, weird so I got some hot glue I'm gonna glue some um, moss onto the cloth and I got some different moss and also the original moss so this is what it, what it looks like after I glued all the moss onto the cloth I just kind of um, I don't know it's kind of fun to just stick stuff onto the thing to decorate it and yeah this is what it's it looks like right now <laughs>